Welcome back to Super Brothers. We are just about oh, to start our s sorcery song. I'm gonna try to figure out what the key is. It's something like this. Oh, oh, right here. Just rub it. And this one. Double complete rainbow, man. Just hold it. Boom. And it is a double complete rainbow. Giving us a fresh new day. That was surprisingly easy. We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite between two loathsome rainbows by the side of the perilous precipice. Just for fun. Oh. Shall we call forth and open the bridge? That doesn't work. So we'll just have to head back. And accept the fruits of our labor. Maybe some other key at some point. Yeah, I like the locational sound of this river. It's like, it's the future. 2D games need 3D sound. We just left the door open. She's gone, doggy's still here. Have to go give him a little head pat. Alright, can I I can just, I should be closing this. Nah, just leave it open. Fuck it. Who cares if there's a wild beast and I'm the only one that can fight it? Probably just be a head pat. Or bum pat. And let's discern his thoughts. Bark, 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 bark. Well, what? The sheep in the meadow have taken fright. I wonder what's happening. Oh, okay, that's old news. And Logfellow, he's just been me freak. I'm freaking out. You know, whenever I feel like I need to gather my strength, I just sit down beside this here hearth to warm my boots. Good for him. So let's see if the wolf thing has ravaged the... Nope. Oh, but the uh, the sheep are back. Or they are here now, I guess. Another worthless sheep. Why do we keep looking at it? Oh, well, now it's tempting me. There's gotta be like one sheep that is like... Not a worthless sheep. Talk to her. We asked the girl about the worthless sheep hanging out around the hut. She said they had taken fright a little while ago. We told the girl that we had sent five sylvan sprites skyward, and she told us that perhaps a time of miracles was at hand. We thought that maybe we ought to go investigate the meadow where the sheep used to be. Well, that's a really good suggestion. Just head on over to the meadow for a boss fight. Maybe. <gasps> Extra shroom. Oh, and all of them. 
Open this, maybe? Nope. And we'll check that. Wait, what? Then let's have an extra one. Do something. Oh, open the eye. stuff higher up. So I think I would go like... Where else is there to go? This. Or can I see something in the reflection? No. Oh, I got it. Okay, I got it here. The center. Between the two. Okay. That's interesting. Some like Raiders of the Lost Ark shit. The beam directs it down. Up oh, it's the trifecta for Saruni. This seems important. Oh, fight? I guess I have to fight it. Downward arrow. The fuck? Alright, it raises up. It forms the outer and triple. Alright. Oh, this looks like death. 
Will my puny shield hold? No. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, I gotta always hit it back. Gotta go aggro. Take that. Oh, I spam it. Oh, oh, you get tired. Turn to mush. Okay, though I do survive. Alright, let's see if those mushrooms do healing. Yes, is the answer. Fully healed. Yes, siree. And now we know the system. Can't spam it. Three, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-four. Okay. And you're just done for a few seconds. All right. So we got. Might be an invisible like charge up bar. The shield seems damn near useless here. Okay, so it's like pretty close. Probably got it. Alright. Try I shouldn't even try to dodge it. Oh! Oh. Oh my. Nice. Dodge back or a block. Hmm. Oh, I. All right. 
I've beaten your ship. Oh, oh, I was barely. All right now, man, let's get into. Oh, I thought I missed it. Is that a win, or I gotta? Alright. Guess I got it. Don't feel like I did a single bit of damage, just kinda didn't get killed. And hold it skyward. Teleporting us to another land with more adventure. We got the gold trigon. We are so awesome. And it's old smoking man. Bravo! You have located and subdued the cosmic geometry of the golden trigon. Miraculously, the sinister storm has lifted, and glorious sunlight has returned to the realm, so that's totally awesome. These heroic deeds reflect well upon your perceptiveness, intuition, perseverance, and perseverance. You have done exceedingly well so far. Note, should you choose to continue the game experiment, these aforementioned qualities will be challenged and evaluated. In any case, Let's take another little break, shall we? As always, I'll be right here whenever you're ready to begin Session 3. Well, let's begin Session 3. Oh. And scene. A little boost in our percentage. 40, okay, nearly half. Let us continue. Let's begin session three. Note, this session typically requires a lunar month to complete. You have tamed the gold trigon and the storm has miraculously lifted. Bravo on that. Consult the megatome and study its workings should you become lost or confused. A deathless specter still lurks in the darkness beneath Mingita. Consider the cosmic geometry of the Trigon Trifecta. Observe the moods of the moon. Our research shows that social support networks may play- of course, they want you to tweet. Be advised that henceforth we will be monitoring your inputs in relative silence. Oh. This one might start off dead, but I can click to revive. One one star. And it'll throw up. We groggily awoke from a super deep sleep with no firm recollection of what had happened. We were reminded of the miracle in the meadow and our encounter with the gold trigon. What new powers had we been granted? Logfella was totally floored with how awesome and crazy the fight with the gold trigon sounded from the description we gave him. Logfella wondered about how maybe the gold trigon might be connected to the grim mysteries beyond the iron gate in the meadow. Logfella didn't dig grim mysteries, so we he chose to go home and chop wood. Can I just open this because I have a Triforce thing? Let's see. Maybe. Doesn't matter. So I see you've summoned and attempted to tame the Gold Trigon. I have a few things to tell you that I think you'll find useful. Cover your lot. Touch and hold the shield 
but whenever you can in order to recover your lost strength. Huh. So if I right click here. Doesn't do any good. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh wait, not done. Okay, maybe it opens everything with a one. We spied a gold trigon thing above the gate. Maybe it would react to our. S oh, wonderful. Do this. Oh my. A giant record. Don't tell me you can't give me a description of this shit. Up here? Just there. Ooh, a, an evil black one. Another cross. Oh, there's multiple. <laughs> Beyond the cavernous cave in the meadow, we came upon a secluded grove with a collection of strange stone structures. Was this the Trigon Grove? As we stood beside the first stone structure, we thought of the gold Trigon and we felt our swords stir. Actually, let's stand to the side. See what we can accomplish here. What about here? Yeah, I'm not feeling anything here. This one. Or maybe the stand at the top there. In the Trigon Grove, there was another stone structure with a circular glyph that referred to the bright moon. We wondered what would happen if we struck the stone structure with our sword. <gasps> Wonder no more. Fade out. Okay. Let's strike this one. Oh, I don't want to actually do that. Very good. That's the only one we have, anyways. Strike these as I earn those. Which will open up this teleporter, probably. Uh oh. In the groove beyond the cavernous cave in the meadow approached the solitary grave, but we were met by a glowing ghost dude! Which we must fight. The glowing ghost dude in the Trigon Grove totally freaked us out. At first, to be honest, he recognized our Scythian garb and he saw that we carried the Megatome. He wondered if we understood the esoteric markings inside. In a whisper, he spoke the name of the deathless specter we had awoken in the darkness beneath Minkita, the Gogolithic Mass. We knew the dreadful name from the old stories, and we felt our blood run cold. Up until now, I had the feeling that the Gogolithic Mass saw you as a bit of a tourist. Now that you've learned the Song of Sorcery and tamed the Gold Trigon, you will find your every step is haunted. We couldn't tell if the glowing ghost dude was cheering us on, or psyching us out, or what. We told the ghost dude of our intention to detonate the Megatome atop Minky Ta and release the G Gogolithic Mass from immortality. We asked about the Trigon Trifecta, and the locations of the remaining two Trigons, but his response was irritatingly obtuse. The remaining two Trigons exist only in the dreams of the Mountain Folk. 
Locating the remaining two trigons is not so much a question of where, as it is when and how. The glowing ghost dude sure did talk a lot of unhelpful nonsense. Contraire, that is extreme. Oh. I said contraire, that is actually extremely useful. He up here again. Alright. Alright. Can I just. Strip, escape this? That's the one thing. A quick skip would be nice. Oh, <laughs> Cross, maybe? It's not doing us any good. Alright, let's just get out of here, I suppose. Because I can't do anything with that stuff. Nothing too obvious to click on. Fucking thing. So we've got the logger dream. We need the girl's dream. Or we, maybe there's the guy that's the dream within the dream guy. Or the dog dream. Or the monster's dream. Or the wolf's dream, even. Chopping. Hey. How's it chopping? The woodsman known as Logfella had returned to his wood chopping and he seemed to really be digging it. Logfella had seen the skyward beam in the sky behind the meadow, so we asked him about the secrets of the Trigon Grove. He spoke of an old story that his people typically told their children to freak them out. Logfella spoke of a posse from Scythia who had come seeking the Trigon Trifecta in these forgotten mountains so many moons ago. The posse had learned to seek Sylvan sprites and send them all skyward, and then they had sought a location to enact a miracle. The posse had hoped to activate the three skyward beams of the Trigon Grove, but they had no idea where or when the Trigons were. The posse wandered aimlessly for a long time on the old road to Minkita. Eventually they grew weary, and so they stopped. Then the posse was suddenly killed by a deathless specter at the side of the old road where a handful of graves remain to this day. We told Logfella that it was a nice story, but actually it didn't freak us out at all that much. Uh, what do you think about blood sports? Everyone likes yeah. blood sports, right? Yeah, sometimes. I heard that, uh, they're, they're building a place downtown. Um, Kind of a place to see people it's so random. He should have done that while his dialogue was going. Stuff. The dark-haired girl sat on a stone besides where the woodsman chopped wood. We asked her about the secrets of the Trigon Grove and the particular dreams of the mountain folk of the Caucasus. She told us about how the dreams of her people held many mysteries and how they reflected the moons, the moon in strange, the moods of the moon in strange ways. The girl told us to sit by the hearth in the stone hut at any time, either to go dreamwalking or to gather our strength, which we cer certainly need now. We kind of got the feeling that the remaining two trigons might be lost in dreams, or something like that. Yeah, so I need to recharge for sure. I'm about to fucking die. Oh, it just slowly charges. Okay. Never mind. Oh, and then I can't... I don't have a... I'm no longer five star. Though there's no one in here with me, so I... Don't know whose dreams I'm really going into. As I head on to the B-side.
And it appears to be the same dream world. And there's no that dude. If it's empty, I'll just go sit down in that chair and be off with myself. So I need to go investigate the dude down here. And then we'll head over to the chair in the Oh, and I can pick up more mushrooms. If I need them. Which I do need one. something useful here. Mysterious fellow hanging out beside a crackling fire. Mm. So nothing new. But it's a good healing, regardless. Yeah, so there's three mushrooms in here, so you could just fully regen that. Not that there's been that much combat, though. I need that chair to appear, or I'm gonna... Oh, believe. <gasps> That's a development. Uh-oh, seizure warning. There's that guy. Okay, so New Island. Let's pick this up in the next episode, so catch y'all then.